My parents didn't speak the same language. That's why they had children. That's why my brothers and I were created. We were bred as interpreters. That was our job. I'm the original Rosetta Stone. <laughs> I'm a comedian. Mom, could you please stop doing that? The christening isn't until tomorrow. That gives us all night to figure it out. Uh-oh. You got that right. <laughs> hey, don't we need more lasagna? Let's go to the store. Great. Watch the baby, Mom. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> she walked out of the room. She ran out. We're from Andrew Kennedy. I've got you safely in my grasp. Breaking news. I'm Piers Morgan. Who has tracked down the talented Mr. Kennedy. Here with Andrew Kennedy. Amy, you're fired. Shout out to me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Duke Kennedy. I'm I always joke around about being completely Latino in a white disguise. Raised in South America, fluent in Spanish, and I look so white that when I speak in Spanish to Latinos, they answer me in English. That's the weirdest thing. Tú tienes un reloj, tú me puedes decir qué es. Tú tienes el tiempo, ¿qué hora es? Yes, it is about. It is about. Looking like a gringo. Till I was seven, I had bleach blonde hair. My mother's five feet tall, dark hair, dark eyes. She carried around my birth certificate just so that she didn't get arrested. To the parents of the Swedish baby, the Swedish baby, you have no, you have the child. Well, first of all, my father's English. I went to Colombia, met my mother. Boom, they got married like six months. I was born, my brother was born. We went to Puerto Rico, to Venezuela, to Hong Kong the United States, back to Venezuela. I literally grew up around the world because my father kept getting fired a lot. And back to the United States, all by the time I was 13 years old. New Canaan, Connecticut, one of the richest, snobbiest towns. We moved to New Canaan, Connecticut in 1980. There were no Hispanics in New Canaan, Connecticut in 1980. At least not living there. They were there during the day. I never really clicked with, with, with Connecticut. No longer is it Senora McIntyre at Sachs Middle School teaching kids in New Canaan that read in Spanish is Rojo. Can you say Rojo? The first thing you think about when somebody says Colombia, cocaine. It's cocaine! Colombia, café. Hola! One bell dance. Not the flowers, the beauty, the mountains, the, the culture, the music. Everybody that comes to the U.S. wants to prove one thing dearly, that they can speak English. Latinos are the most proud. I had a Dominican woman deny she could speak Spanish. I don't understand Spanish, okay? That's how she told me she didn't speak Spanish. She might as well dancing salsa and merengue denying that she's Latina. That's just crazy that you can just, by looking at someone, that you can just decide Clearly, you're from Alabama. I didn't pick up on the Southern draw. And that's what separates a good comic from a great comic. All my comedy is factually based. I just retell my life, explaining how I ended up here. There are some comics that'll say the exact same word every time they perform. And for me, even though I talk about the same things, I get to them each time a different way. And it all depends on the audience. So, so that the audience feels like they've experienced something that can never be repeated. It's that connection with the audience and that feeling of, of, of leaving part of your soul. And it's great. It's why I do it. And I get paid doing it, which is fantastic. And like I said, nothing is, nothing's made up. I don't write jokes. I just tell stories of my family and my life. Descubrir quién fue quien nos trajo.